Hello fellow mount riders and blade swingers. In this tutorial I will show you the art of trading in mount and blade with fire and sword. I will talk about economy, mayors and caravans. The first two things to note is that fortresses now have a marketplace and it offers pretty stable prices as well as the villages, which offer stable prices as well, but are more fluid or more fluctuant in their production and in their in the various they offer than the fortresses, which are pretty much set in stone. So you can use this up and down in the villages and the stable prices in the fortresses for your advantage. For example, you have the luck to stumble upon pretty low prices for beer in a village. So you buy this beer, check out some fortresses, not only one but um, two or three in the region, and sell the beer to the highest paying fortress. Towns on the other hand offer lots of wares and offer quite stable output of wares, but their prices fluctuate highly. Let me show you. I managed to buy powder in Smolensk for a low price. 248 thalas or 484 in total thalas seem high, but they are not. They are not high at all. Because you can try to sell gunpowder at fortresses for around a thousand dollars each, which would make a huge profit. Oh, you see, at this fortress they pay me more than double than what I pay for one barrel, but they are way more fluid than in the other fortress. Oh, yes, here they are willing to pay me lots of money, and they demand down that much money for powder. So, we sell all this meat, you see. The more meat I sell them, less they are willing to pay me. In cities, this changes quite rapid and drastic. I mean, you see, from over 100 to 80 dollars. But nonetheless, I managed to make back my money and made lots of profit. I mean, now I have 2,000, 700 dollars, nearly 3,000. With this money, I will buy powder. I don't care about the price because powder, as we have seen, sells pretty well at fortresses. For you, I skipped a fight. I could manage to plunder and loot some interesting attires as reward, you will see. Because once I'm in this fortress I will try to sell this crap too. And here... You see what I sell them. This is what I got myself. I like it quite a lot. And now I will slowly sell the gunpowder. Keep in mind, every trader, or merchant as they are called here, has a different amount of money. So I recommend look up the one with the most amount of money and sell him the bear, because the prices for the wares are actually the same for the entire fortress, for every single merchant in the fortress. But the amount of cash which can be offered you differs from merchant to merchant, so let's get rid of this crap. So 
So this is my profit. I stopped selling before the price would go too low to make to be profitable. Let's try out this fortress. You see, they offer me, offer me more or less the same price as the other fortress did. I wanted to show you a trade route of the Crimean Canate going from Akaman to this town here. This trade route is pretty profitable. Unfortunately, I can't do this anymore as the Cossacks took over Akerman. But be aware that there is a trade route from this town to this town as long as they belong to the same faction or nation if you want so. So whenever this town and this town were matching colors <laughs> you can try to exploit the straight route. I will show you how to talk to a mayor and how to manage caravans through this mayor, nonetheless. To learn more about caravans and to actually be able to trade, you have to use this option. Usually you should choose the lowest, the cheapest item available first and have a look for this for these notes you can send the wares wherever you want with this caravan you're going to set up but these prices are safe and as you're tra trading in bread which cost us around 20 dollars this here is our best way our best target. Always choose the smallest amount of escort guards because you yourself will be part of the escort. Those here are NPC escorts. These are useful if you send around many caravans at the same time, so you can't escort all of them simultaneously. And as we're sending only one single caravan right now, we choose the lowest escort available, which is this, and we'll follow the caravan ourselves. So, this in blue is our caravan. You can talk to him, and he will explain to you what he's carrying, and by right-clicking him, and then selecting a company, you follow him automatically to his target. To speed up the travel time, hold down control and spacebar at the same time. And what I am doing is holding down control all the time and only pushing spacebar sometimes. So I can skip the not dangerous parts and have normal travel speed in the dangerous areas of the map. With some experience and patience you will get a feeling which areas are traveled by bandits a lot and which are safe and secured by soldiers. And you see, we delivered and got our money. Now we go back to Ackerman. And repeat the process. One thing I should mention, the higher your trading skill is, the more prices of target cities will be shown in the list of the caravan targets and the better the prices are you will achieve. You increase your trading skill by having a high charisma count and pumping lots of skill points 
into trading once they are available thanks to your attribute points and charisma. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you could learn something and we will continue our journey through Eastern Europe with fire and sword. Goodbye.